this video, we're going to look at the half guard, passing the half guard, and the variations. So, when our partner's on their back and in the half guard, things we need to be really aware of. Firstly, if I give too much space, the knee can start to come through. It can create a wedge, or it can retract completely into an open guard or a closed guard. If my partner's on their side, they have more options to come up and attack with underhooks or knee shields. And the final one we want to be aware of is the underhook itself. If our partner can get under our arm and come through, they're now in a position to come out the back or sweep. So with that in mind, if we're looking at the passing of the half guard, we want to make sure first and foremost, we're killing this space here. By ringing our knee in and pinching, not so much controlling with the feet, but just pinching the knees, just stops this leg from attracting. The second thing I need to make sure my partner, my opponent, isn't on their side, but rather we want them flat on their back. Hand controls the hip, whilst knee pinches in at their other hip. Using a combination of a flattening, like a rolling movement, and a stepping to the side, we're able to get our partner flat. So hand on the hip, pinch the knees, onto the toes, drop the weight down low, and drive our partner flat. Once our partner's flat, it's a lot more difficult for him or her to come up and start attacking. So now we have our partner flat, we wanna start to get the pass going. In this case, we're gonna shut down their underhook. Hand on the hip, dropping the weight down low. The hand here can stay fairly tight. I don't wanna give away any elbows. Still maintaining the pinch grip around the hip. In this position, if our partner has space, we can use our hand to drop down and come under the armpit. Alternatively, if our partner is using a form of frame, we can circle into the underhook. So, elbows a bit tighter, we can come under into this gap, and a frame, we can circle as we drop our hips back down. My goal in this pass is to put pressure on the top of my partner and move my legs through. Once I've taken this, Underhook, I'm going to drive the underhook high. I'm looking to use the top of my head. If my partner wants to sit up and bring his head up, I use the crown of my head to drive under their chin and flatten them back down. It can be very, very painful, very strong to push them back. If the head's already down, we can just drive our head straight across the chest into the mat. So, underhook, forehead comes down. If a partner brings their head up, we drive until we flatten them down. Very painful for our partner. They want to move their head either side to stop that pushing sensation. In some cases, you could push on the chin, but not on the throat. Once we're here, we're going to drive our head forward and we're going to look to put our forehead onto the mat, this side. The opposite side as the underhook. So we come to the underhook, drive our head, Put the forehead to the mat. What I'm looking to do when my forehead is on the mat is start to bring my hips up into a tripod position, putting all my pressure down through my partner's upper body. See how I can hop with the underhook, head down, pinch my knees, my thighs, and hop my toes up. This hand has two options. Number one, we cup the elbow and we pull it into our chest, into our ribs chest area. Second option, if you don't like the pinch, you can control the leg for the base, a wider base. Personally, I would suggest you get used to controlling this arm and using the tripod position. One more, please. Underhook, head goes down. Even if I'm controlling the wrist, I bring under the elbow and I pull. I hop, I hop, I hop. 
Notice how my knee starts to come free. With my top pressure, I use the back of my head to drive into my partner. And then I turn and I look directly underneath my partner's head. Creates a lot of leverage going through, a lot of pe pressure going through my partner's head. Keeping this tight to my ribs, I hop, I hop. Once my knee comes free, I slice my knee to the mat aggressively. One step out and then slam my hips through. I'll do it gently for this, this occasion. So step, slice the knee through and the knee hits the mat. Once the knee hits the mat, I pull. If I'm lucky, my leg becomes free. I free the leg, I drive myself through and I drive my chest across the body, collecting our side control cross face. It's important that when I free the leg, I don't bring my weight up as my partner has the ability to sit up and sweep me over, reverse me over. Once more, we flatten our partner. We circle or we come under. We use the top of the head to drive the head to the mat. Once we're in this position, we slide our forehead down to the mat, cup the elbow, pull in tight, hop our toes up until the knee comes free. Make sure that we drive the back of our head into our partner and then turn our entire neck, our head to face them. Once we've got this pressure, one step, slice the knee through, knee hits the mat. If our partner locks their feet up and controls the, 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 the bottom leg, Foot on the top, mule kick away, free the leg, one, come through, pull in tight, drive across the body tight into our cross face side control. Full speed, hip, pinch, 